Hey, hello Doraemons! Welcome back to my channel. So I think you have watched the last video and it was useful. And in that video, I have just said to like my lot of videos because because I'm getting like a lot of comments to help you guys. And I need a little more support to do that because uh to develop my channel, I need all of your support. So if you like the video. It will be a lot more useful for me and if i get 500 likes i'll be posting the solutions back to back after the yara exams even in the evening or either in the morning so with that for note we'll just move on to today's question so for today i have a yara 17th jan question which is the most recent question in recent time which happened like a few of these weeks back and this is items and store question like as like the last uh, IRS question this is also a very easy question as like the exams are held with easy question there may be chances like the next IRA question will be very tough so let's see and for this question it's an items and store question this is also a very easy to judge question i'm directly going to the sample input and output to show you like what is exactly going over here so as far as my understanding what i got from this is here they are giving like the total number of objects they are going to pass and for one single object we have like the item number and the type of item and the rate so this is the three things which has been given for one single object and like that we have four similar sets of objects and after that uh, like they have said they'll be passing three set of uh, objects like the type of objects not the objects type of furniture or costumes cosmetics or electronics or toys like that and they'll give the discount amount and in the end they'll give us one of these like type of items and only for this single item we are going to reduce this discount amount and we are going to print the whole list with the discounted amount only for the things which has been like uh, the discount amount is reduced so here they have only mentioned furnitures so for only furnitures we are going to reduce 12 percent of its price and we are going to print the prices of the objects after like giving discount and then here we are going to just print the total loss like for the single thing like furniture if it is two or more things we are going to just put the total loss as xxt like here the rate is 5500 and after 12% of discount here the rate has been 4840 and now the loss is 660. So here they have given only one set of sample input and output which means like it, the other sample uh, cases is going to be as same as like this one. So here what we are going to do is just get the number of objects and get the set of inputs and get three set of item type and the percentage of discount which has to be given for that or uh, that item alone and here we are going to get for which type of item we are going to reduce or discount the rate so it's a pretty easy question if you are getting this question in ira you are a very lucky person because it doesn't have like a lot more operations to be done you can easily complete this and you can easily get incentives for this exam so let's just quickly jump into the question solution so i'm not sure like whether um only just copy pasting it is useful or you want me to solve one or two questions live because solving the questions live will take a lot more time and which we don't have in this particular videos to showcase it would take about one hour to type the entire code to get the algorithms right and do everything so if you want to just come put down in the comments i'll try to do one or two videos in that pattern and let's see how thing goes okay so here as usual we are going to just start here not written anything as you already know the pattern you are going to write it on your own pattern i'm not going to write the pattern again so let's just start with our main function if name is equal to let's go with only the first set of object list which i'm going to get 
so here I'm just placing if equal to name is equal to main usually we'll declare f list and then here I have uh, declared one more cdic because they have given like three items will be passed with the item type and the discount amount for that I'm just declaring one more dick called as cdic and after that I'm getting this yun as n is equal to int of input and for i in range here i'm getting the item number or id whatever you can say and the name of the type of item and the price and i'm just adding it to f list dot append of passing it to the object class with the name number name and price so here on the top we are going to paste the uh, object class and let's quickly do that okay so now we have the object class and if also after this we have to declare one main class in which we'll be performing all the operations so class main and def of in it and then self of usually we'll pass a list called elist over here and here self dot elist is equal to oops sorry a list is equal to e list okay and after that here we'll be giving dev of function one and don't forget this self else you will get an error and just i'm putting pass over here and again dev fun two of self so here for this question as it is very easy the function two will not be useful over here so i'm just just removing it and we are going to use only function one okay let's get other like until now i have got this part of the input which is still stay 104 stationary 200 and now we have to get this furniture so for that i'm going to directly run a loop for up to range 3 for i in range of 3 here i'm going to just pass control v and for yeah for i in range of 3 i'm going to get the type of item and the discount rate which i've given as no and i'm just putting c dick of ty which is the item type and i'm passing the discount amount as the value to this dictionary now we have the finished list and also the dictionary so let's get this item on which we have to like perform the discount and then calculate the value so for that i'm just getting the whole thing out control okay so after this i'm also declared the object main of f list and c dig so here i have just given one list which is e list which goes for f list and i'll also have to pass another dictionary so i'm going to quickly do that I named it as a dick over here and below this we are going to just give self dot dick is equal to dick so this is going to be a little more short video I guess because it's almost we have completed the path now I'm just going to paste this part of function 1 So here pasting it yeah and almost done so here I'm going to just pass an M so here what we are going to do is I'm going to just put this one PR as like a value to store the price I'll tell you later which I have for which I'm using PR so first I'm going to just put print price list after discount which we are going to print over here and for i in self.e list and for k in the self.dict for this two dictionaries we are going to iterate to both of them which is one list is object list and another one is dictionary and if the name is equal to the mentioned name as like given over here this m is nothing but the this one which is the furniture so 
i dot n dot lower is equal to k dot lower so we have to just compare like weather furniture so basically what we'll be doing is we are going to compare this type of uh, purchase which is n with k dot lower so that we can just match these two things this in the object from in the object list and also from the dictionary and then i'm just comparing this with this whether it is furniture or not and then after that i'm going to store the initial price in a variable called pr so this is why i declared pr over here so we have to just calculate like subtract the val price before uh, decreasing the discount and after decreasing the discount in order to print the loss value so before depreciating the value i'm just storing it into another variable called pr and after that i'm just changing pr minus is equal to self dot dec of k divided by 100 into the or initial price so we have to just uh, like depreciate 12 percent of the total amount as discount and it will go to 4840 and after that in pr i'm just uh, subtracting this new ip value in order to print the total loss and in the end i'm just printing print i dot o i dot o is nothing but the number 101 or 102 like that and in the end i'm just printing the price i dot p and let's quickly copy paste the sample and input an output and let's see whether our program prints the output correctly so here i'm just printing run yep it prints the output exactly even without a point difference so this is the solution i think it was useful for you guys because uh, it's very easy question it's a very very simplest question to ask in IRAs and if you are getting this question the people who have written the exam on 17th Jan are very lucky like uh, the people who are going to write after 17th Jan have to be uh, very careful because last two recent questions have been very easy and the next one will be surely tough and make sure you prepare well for that and go through different things when i was learning i was not having these kind of tutorials but i'm here to help you guys so make sure you support my videos by liking the video and sharing max with your friends and yeah so if this video gets like 300 likes uh, i'm going to just give some of my subscribers a new pack of solutions like which has a set of previous question banks and like solutions if you want those make sure you subscribe to my channel and like to all my videos as possible and i'll share you guys share that with you guys so that you can have a lot of practice and i'll also share the materials like where i learned from while i was learning how to do these things so that you can also have the same like kind of knowledge which i got while i was preparing for it and yeah so that's it for this video i hope you like this video and learned from it a lot i'll try to post like the next set of videos as soon as possible and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye keep learning and keep rocking bye bye cheers doremons